Hello, welcome to Life in Pick Row. Just listen to that bird song. Beautiful. Gonna give you a quick tour of a bit of a success story this year. And the success story for us is Aquilegias. Now, most people can grow Aquilegias really well. They're also known as Granny's Bonnet. And they grow everywhere in most people's gardens. But it's actually taken us around 10 years to get them going in the garden and for them to start self-seeding. So, just gonna have a little tour of where they're seeding, where they're growing, which ones are doing really well. This is just as we go into the cottage garden and these are actually self-seeded aquilegias. So they've hybridized. Now lots of people ask us, what do aquilegia seed pods look like? How do we know what they're turning into seeds? And they look like that. They start to turn into these four segments. Later on these will dry, pop and scatter everywhere. Now they're randy little devils, aquilegias, so they will cross breed, which you can see here which is a completely different type of aquilegia. And that has crossbred with this one over here. I know this, there you go. There's our purple variety. So those two have crossbred with each other to produce the pink one. I know that sounds mad, but I know this to be true because I know I had this one and I know I had the white one. I never had the pink one and there are no aquilegias around this area in neighbouring gardens. So now we're down in the cottage garden. As you can see, the bees are really enjoying the aquilegia. You can just see that one buzzing around there. Nice big clump. We brought this actually up from another part of the garden in early spring, which so just shows you they do transplant nicely. The exciting bit, the exciting bit is this one over here, which I grew from seed 10 years ago and which completely and utterly vanished out of our garden. And then it popped up in the top of the garden a few months ago. This is a Barlow variety. So I've actually moved this down purposely into an area where I know it's gonna be protected and where it'll grow. Isn't that beautiful? So, that's a little tour of our aquilegias. There's not many, but we've got now six or seven that are actually taking hold. And that's good news because what will happen now is that they'll hybridize, they'll interbreed with each other, and they'll spread seed. And that seed will probably do better than the seed that I buy from a catalog because it's used to the environment. It'll be just whiz past there. It just shows you. Okay, until next time, bye-bye. Don't forget, like and subscribe and you'll get notified about our channel and our videos every Saturday. Until then, bye-bye.